Hi everyone, welcome back to our Drosaki series. My name is Stephanie Yin. In this video, I'm going to talk about a common mistake Drosakis by one to two dime players. So last week, Ryan introduced the three four point with one space high pincer and black respond by playing an attachment move. And now white has two options to respond attachment move here. One that's very simple and classic, you just hunt it, or you can go to the corner by playing the attachment move. This is more complicated. So let's start with the simple one. So after white harness and black pull the stone back, this is more common as extending. But of course, this is another option for black. But um, this Joseki will give um, black a gote, so that's why most of people like to play this one um, better. It's more popular than extending here because now black can uh, choose either continue this joseki by creating a moyo on the on the top, or you can just tanuki right now. So now you have a sente. Um, so black has an option to hane and double hane and create uh, some moyo or potential on the top. Like this. Or black can tanuki right now. Go somewhere else on the board. So um, the joseki mistake I want to show you is actually the follow-up um, moves for this joseki. Let's say black tanuki somewhere else, somewhere else on the board. And then if white wants to follow up this joseki, the correct move is to play the t attachment move. And the correct response to this move is to hane. And the purpose of the attachment move of white is to sacrifice the corner so that black, uh, white can kill the two stones on the outside. And now I'm going to show you the correct variation first. And white Ataris, black capture, and white Ataris again. And black connects. And now white can either ladder if the ladder works for white, but don't panic if the ladder doesn't work for you, that's still fine. You can Atari from the other side and keep sacrificing the stones on the top. And let black capture the stones and then you can make a um, double tiger's mouth or you can just simply connect so that you can get everything on the outside. Of course, if the ladder works for you, then killing the two stones will be will be better. But also, you need to you need to prepare for the ladder breaker on the other side of the board because you have to always remember to capture the two stones. Okay, so where the mistake is? So where is the mistake? The mistake is I see a lot of players. Atari from the wrong side, which is here. Why is this the mistake? Okay, so the correct variation is when black Atari's descending here is not going to work because now black can keep blocking here. Or I think even black can connect the two stones. So the liberty fight in the corner won't, won't help white because black has four liberties and white only has three. So that makes white must do Atari from the outside and black can just capture the stone immediately or right now. But why is this the mistake? It's because when black Atari from the wrong side and now white is able to extend because now you can't see the liberty fight. White has three liberties and black has three. So that means black has to reduce one of white liberties. Otherwise, the two stones are dead. So after black spend the extra move to kill the two stones and white also Atari from the outside but now the difference between this Atari and that Atari is white has a sente from the bottom or one space jump here. If black play the correct Atari and capture the stones there's no any sentes on the bottom. But if black Atari from the wrong side, it gives white a lot of sentes on the bottom. So over here, we're one space jump. So black, white can still sacrifice the stones on the top when the ladder doesn't work. Like this. Or if the ladder works, white can always kill the two stones. Okay. 
So when you choose to play this drill set in your games, make sure you Atari from the correct direction. The next Joseki mistake I want to show you is this attachment move. And this is very important. Okay, I hope everyone focus and uh, pay attention. So black, bump, and white, pull the stone back. So now black has uh, two options. Atari here to enclose white, or cut through from here. Okay, so I want to sh the next one. What I want to show you is the Atari and enclose. So uh, Ryan also introduced this uh, Joseki in, in uh, last week, and uh, he said he mentioned that this will be a very complicated fight in the corner. And if, if the ladder works, and now White can hane and take the vital point over here. So the ladder is here. So where is the mistake? The mistake is the cut over here. So a lot of people think cutting here right now and Hane first doesn't make any difference, but that's very different. It's because when we Hane first, after we Hane, and after, uh, after Hane, then we cut. Now you can see there, we create a double Atari here for black. So that means black needs to use a move to protect the cutting point here. But if we cut first, now black is not going to respond here. Instead, black is going to take the vital point on the bottom. So the cutting point that uh, here doesn't work anymore because there's no double Atari. Instead, white still need to block in the corner to, to save the four stones. And even white blocked here, the corner is still not alive yet. So even the, the ladder works now, um, white is not going to win this fight. Because when, when black killed the stones on the second line, the corner is pretty much already dead. Because black and white doesn't have enough liberties to fight. So if you if you want to choose this joseki and have a complicated fight in the in the opening, make sure you play the correct order. Hane first and cut. This is very important. Okay. And next I wanna show you is when black cut through from here and white extend. Black, of course, needs to pull the stone out. And white, Hane, black needs to keep running out, to keep escaping. And then black, white has some sentes over here. And right now, white, white actually have a two options. One of option is to live in the corner. And you still need to use the actual move to limit the corner. But now it's black sente, so black will have advantage of this fight. Or a lot of people think cutting here is the mistake for white, but actually this is one of the Josekis. So the idea behind this move is white is going to sacrifice everything in the corner, just let the four stone die. And white is going to save the four stones on the on the outside and uh, create a small moyo and potential on the outside. So the cutting point here, uh, cut here is actually not a mistake. That's one of the drosekis. I want to, um, I want all of you to uh, know this. This is not a m mistake. Okay. And the next one is when white played a low approach and uh, black has a one black can choose one space pincer or two space pincer but so nowadays more people stop uh, playing the one space pincer is because uh, white has a very good josekis and i believe if you watch the ryan's video you probably already know this one and then white black hanes and white hanes and then it will be it will become very complicated Josekis and white. Um, okay, if you have any questions, you can go back, you can always go back to watch Ryan's video for this Joseki. Okay, so the mistake I wanna show you is after Black Han is here, and why does white need to play this move instead of a cut? 
does the cut work? It looks, it's working, it seems it's working. But actually cutting here and killing this white black stones is not a good move. So white cut and black Ataris and Atari second time and connect here. So connected here is a sente. Black white needs to use an actual move to kill the black stones here. Otherwise, the two white stones will get captured. So after white plays here and try to kill the white black stones on the top. And now you can see black sacrifice the one stones on the side and get everything on the outside and it completely enclosed the white. And later on, Black still have a lot of sentes by surrounding all the territory in the corner. So now you probably notice that killing the stone is not a very good idea for white. So that's why the correct joseki for white is to honey on the top and help everything, help all the stones get out so that white can use this Tasuji to start a fight on the top. Okay. The next Joseki mistake is the two space high pincer. And black white played on a knight's move and black push, block, and cut. So the correct Joseki for the next move is to play an attachment move here. And black extend, white extend, and black kill the stones on the top, and white gets territory on the side. So um, this joseki will, um, uh, I would say this is still very even for both black and white, but um, some people think it is slightly better for, for black. So where is the mistake in this joseki? The mistake is, I see a lot of people play Atari here because um, it looks like the Atari is the first intuition for everyone. I, I have one stone on top and two stones on the side and of course I need to protect my bigger group. So the best way to help the two stones is to run and to get out. So that's why a lot of people play the uh, Atari here and then make a tiger's mouth. But if you know this Joseki already, uh, when you when you play the correct move here, black still need to play an actual move to kill the stones over here. If black Atari is here, now you can see Atari here becomes a sente. So you got a free work, a free free move on the other side. So that's why black extend instead of Atari because black of course doesn't want to give you a sente here, and black white extend and kill the stone. So when you, the reason why the Atari is not a very good move is because after this exchange and white still need to come back to play the, this move again. So you can see the difference between this one and this one. So when, when we play the correct move, black needs to play actual move to kill that stone. But if we play the Atari and in Tiger's Mouth right now, and instead of spending an actual move on the top, black is going to save the stone because Black has a very nice falling move, which is here. It's because Black is able to connect the two stones on top with the two stones on the bottom. So the fighting on the top uh, or getting this stone out is not that important anymore because after white, uh, Black is enclosed here, the four white stones are in danger again. So that means after Black goes here, White has to keep pushing and get help this group to get out. But at the same time, after uh, uh, some exchange move on the, on the top, this stone is already dead automatically. So that's why Atari and Tiger's Mouth here is actually helping Black. So when you play uh, the, the knight move here, Joseki, make sure you, you play the correct move It's here, which is the attachment move. Okay, so here are um, the, the mistake Josekis. Uh, if you have any more questions, you can always go to our website or fo and follow us on Twitter and Facebook page. And also, don't forget to subscribe and leave some comments below. So my name is Stephanie Yin. I will see you next time.